Hi everyone, this is Miss Grace from the Melbourne Beach Library and today I am showing you how to make a Harry Potter wand just like this one. This is all the materials you will need for this project. The most important part is your wand base, which these are just some wooden dowels. You can find them at any local craft store. You will need a paintbrush because you will be painting yours once it's done. And you will absolutely need a hot glue gun. You can use a high temp, you can use a low temp. This one has both high and low. Um, today I'm gonna use the high temperature because that gives you a little bit more to work with. And this here is a marble. You can use either a marble, a rock, a special bead. Um, this is just for extra decoration. So we'll show you how to apply it at the very end. All right, so our hot glue is going to form the shape of our wand base or even up through um, the rest of the wand, the tip, whatever you want. Um, these here are examples. So this is when the glue is fully dry and some of the shapes that you can form it into. Now with hot glue, obviously you cannot touch any of the glue. So when I say forming the shapes, you're gonna use what you can with the actual hot glue gun by just moving it in a certain way or just kind of letting the glue run down and twisting your dowel, okay? So we're just gonna go for it with this dowel and make sure your hot glue gun is ready. And it is messy, so absolutely do this on like a piece of poster board or something that will protect your surfaces. Because as you can see, it is already dripping. I'm kind of just going for a random spirally design here. Okay. I need another glue stick. Okay, and so part of this is you have to deal with a lot of glue that's gonna fall off. So just get it as good as you can get it. And no, it's not gonna be perfect, but that's the fun of it because you're gonna get to decorate it how you want once the glue dries. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the base here. So as you can see, it's kind of just, I'm not really going for anything really set. I'm just kind of letting it swirl and then we're just going to take this and kind of rotate it just so it doesn't all fall to one side you can hold it at this end facing down so you can get some at the very end here and you're just going to do this until you start to see it dry and again don't touch it you'll know it's completely dry when it starts getting cloudy like these. Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's it's totally different from what we started with, but that's fine. You have to kind of just let it do what it's gonna do, but it is dry. It's still slightly, slightly warm, but it is safe to touch. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is how I add either a marble or a gem, something to personalize it and decorate it. So you're gonna take your glue gun again, and I'm just gonna add another glob right at the top here. And again, it just doesn't have to be perfect. And we're gonna stick the marble on there and kind of smush it in and hold it. There's gonna be a lot of holding and waiting and you're also gonna have to rotate very slowly so the glue doesn't all drip to one side. And just make sure it stays on the glue. All right, and we will just wait for this to dry. Right, so this is what it looks like with the glue completely dry and the marble at the end. And if you really want that spirally look, that is where the low temp hot glue gun is gonna come in handy because you have a little bit more control of um, the glue when you're turning the wand. The hot glue is just super, super hot, so it just kind of melts all over the place. But with the low temp, you can get more of that spiral look. So now what we're gonna do is start painting our wand. I have just a dark brown paint here. You can, you can do whatever shade of brown or you can just go completely on your own and do a blue, a purple. You can make a Hufflepuff wand, do a Gryffindor, do whatever colors, whatever patterns you want. And we're just gonna start applying that paint. 
And you may have to do a couple coats just so it really comes off opaque and covers all that gluey look. And be careful once you get to your marble, just so you don't paint it. You can always wipe it off, but it will be a little bit more delicate. I'll kind of show you painting the rest. Oh, missed a spot there. And you can always go back in. You can paint it all one base color, but you can always add um, your metallic or your pop of color to the handle. This is an example of one completely painted with its base coat of brown. And as you can see, this one has a gem at the end. So this one's just the solid color. And then when that is completely dry, you are ready to add a metallic color, whatever color you want. And then this one looks like it was sprayed with a shiny, glossy spray paint can. So you can do that, but you don't have to. If you want it to look a little bit more rustic, you can leave it the matte coloring. And that is everything you need to know to make your own Harry Potter wand.